uh, seal. Let's see, is OBS good? All right, uh, everything is chilling. Everything's chilling. All right. Now again, we're versing Vagar again in our second game. Uh, remember that Vagar is mainly trying to farm. He's not really trying to poke you out. So like, if he overextends for CS and stuff like that, which a lot of players in this elo do, that's when you go in. See, Katarina is one of those champions that can actually take advantage of positional errors like that. Like, um, Vagar goes up, sees low minions, he goes up to queue it. If I get into my E range, that's a that's a really hard trade for me. Ooh, what's going on here? Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's good to start. Oh my god, did I just circle around that tower? That's bullshit. We got a TP coming in. Um. Um. There's a ribbon here. Uh. Pfft. All right, all right. Shaky start. Shaky start. Everyone's fucking dead on my team. Let's see if we can carry this shit. All right. Let's see if we can carry this shit. We have a 2-0 MF already. A 1-0 Recon. Damn, I should have stopped this Ribbon's Recall. No, it would have been so good for Relia, But she doesn't have TP anyway. Which which would have been even worse. Okay, I'm going to zone Vagar out of these minions here. I'm going to zone Vagar out of these minions. He's going to lose the XP, hopefully. Throw a Q. Damn, he doesn't lose anything actually. He hits him with the Q. Alright. So let's see. Um, I think a lot of my pressure will go into the bot lane. So there's that. I'm gonna throw a Q here. Ooh, he goes for the uh, the the CS into the poke. I like that, I like that. He has he has somewhat of the advantage here in terms of uh, positioning in the lane. I'm just gonna let it push in and see what I can do around level two, level three. I'm just gonna keep farming right now. Let's see, he does have teleport. Riven teleported already. Okay, let's see, let's see. So I'm gonna uh, cue these. Ooh, that's really good for us. Really good for Relia because Riven doesn't have TP. So that's good. All right, all right, Wave's in a good spot. Wave's pushed in, he's gonna cue that. Or oh, he just autos it, never mind. Once I hit level three, that's what I wanna, wanna go for an aggressive trade just because I'm almost level three. Okay, I can go for that trade because I set up a Q on top of him. I have my W now, so I can eat W. I want to get this cannon first, which I don't. Okay, I have my Q up again. So it's like spacing out your abilities like that is actually pretty good. Okay, I don't see the jungler. Wave's in kind of a weird spot for me. So if anything, at this point, I kind of just want to shove it out. Get a good trade there. Okay. All right, all right. We're in a solid spot. Let's see, shit's happening bot lane. Because I pushed in, I can potentially go down and help, but nothing's gonna happen here. Aurelia's shitting on this ribbon, that's great, great news. Uh, Vagar used both his pots, so any kind of poke that I do will stick. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna expect the wave to push into me. Poppy does go top. Yeah, wave is en ends up gonna push into me. And the reason why is because the wave is going to meet before my wave meets. If I don't jump on that dagger, yeah. Okay, wave's going to push into me now. I wonder if I can take advantage of this Vagar by EWing. I can set up a Q. This minion's going to die. Nah, he doesn't walk up too far. Poppy's coming, it seems like. Because she was topside and Vagar's starting to position himself, like, towards me. So, because he got a little bit aggressive... Get that electrocute off. Alright, that's fine with me. I don't know if he's going to back or not, so I'm not going to pop a potion yet. Wave is actually a really good spot for me now, because now he's forced to walk up. He might just teleport back, so I'm going to pop a potion here. Be ready for it. Let's see. Is Vagar coming? Vagar... Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely TPing. So I'm just going to shove here and back. All right, 28 CS to 22. He does TP back. He comes back with the uh, the uh, the lost chapter. I don't have enough for revolver, so I'm gonna get the double double longsword. Our team is actually doing really good now. 
Uh, I think we're just taking advantage of the fact of the Riven. Like, uh, Aurelia is level 5, I'm level 2. I mean, Riven's level 2, so that's really fucking bad for the Aurelia. So we can predict that top lane, we can just leave alone. So all of our pressure is going to go into the bot lane here, because our top lane is doing so well. Now I have the long swords. now I can like actually get aggressive with autos, because my autos will start doing a lot. Um, Vagar... Okay. I can go for trades like that. Pretty fun. I have my Q up again. I can ignite him. Shunpo. Alright, we're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Um, I never get the cannons, but it's okay. Fuck cannons. You don't need cannons to win games, right? Alright. I'm gonna shove in this next wave, and then we're gonna back. I'm gonna keep a constant eye out on bot lane, because bot lane is not doing too hot. So I just want to pressure. My CS is actually pretty fucking... It could be a lot better, but you know. Talking and, and uh, playing at the same time is actually kind of difficult sometimes. So. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Uh, I guess I guess Poppy... Uh, I have to flash here. No, I don't. Okay, Poppy flashed. Thought I'd be able to kill her, but she had the challenging smite, so I was actually was not able to. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna back here, gonna get double amp tome. Looking to get the revolver next. Uh there I actually shouldn't have um I shouldn't have queued. I think I was better off just like ulting and then try to work around both my daggers there. Because she was already on top of me, she already used all her CC, so there's nothing she could do to my LT. I do have stopwatch as well, so see if we, uh, we can work around that. I don't have ulti though, I wish I saved my ulti for Vagar. Set up the Q. Okay, get the get the slight poke on Vagar. I have my E again. I have my Q again. Okay, nice. <clears throat> So that was actually pretty good. Um, if you see, like sometimes with Katarina, you can space out your abilities to where like you can throw out like three daggers within a whole chain of combos. So like, if you saw there, yeah, I actually just kept pressuring him. I wonder if they're going to go too hard. No, they're not. So I'm just gonna work towards doing damage on this tower, get the next wave, and then see what I can do from there. Since I have nowhere to really go right now. Alright, Q, W, and now let's look at bot lane. Bot lane's push, uh, mid lane's push in, so Vega can't really do anything, so I'm gonna go bot. Um, I don't think they know I'm coming, so I think this is free kills for me. MF is actually level 7, Jesus Christ. Uh, but I should be able to shut down MF here. Okay. Should be dead here actually. Yeah, no point of stop watching. I ended up shutting down the MF, I guess that's fine. Let's see, Aurelia. Okay. Aurelia is doing fine. Applied some pressure into the bot lane. Like I said, I want to get I want to get Gunblade as fast as possible. That's when I can start really ma making like really nutty plays. Bot lane is actually not doing too hot. 1-5 Jinx. Let's see how we can carry this. We're just trying to try our best to compensate with the bot lane that's really behind. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to wog it down here. I don't think they're going to keep pushing. Yeah, that's, that's fine with me. I'm just going to go back into the mid lane. I have my boots now. That's good. Wait. What the fuck? Okay, nice. Nice kill, nice kill. And Aurelia is doing super well too. So me and Aurelia are doing well. Jungler and bot lane are doing not too well. So we're gonna have to carry this shit. Okay. So we're just gonna shove in. MF has IE. Um, I don't know if Rakan will be there in time, but I can try to do something here just because I have the cutlass. If she decides to walk up here, yeah. Alright, we go, we go, we go, we go. She should be dead. Ready for 
Okay, nice. Just more, relieve more pressure onto our bot lane. That's all I want. Um, okay, Vagar can't do anything. He is actually a mistake for him to uh, to roam. Because he's not going to get anything off of this. So I'm going to go to the mid lane. And I'm just going to shove out and make him lose even more uh, EXP minions. He's also sharing it with the Rakan. So that's like not good either. Okay, so I'm going to shove. And I'm going to back for the gun blade. Um, ooh, okay, bot lane is looking like they're getting jumped on. I'm gonna try to see what I can do. I'm gonna ward here so I know what Poppy's, uh, next moves are. Uh, let's see. If they dive too hard on the Jinx, nah, it's not gonna work out. Alright. Alright, we're just gonna back here. I just wanna be there for my team and be present. Vagar's level 8. I'm level 9. Oh god, I'm dead. That might be fine. Okay. If I can jump onto the minions there, I think I should be fine. I do have stopwatch as well. I could throw out a Q. Oh, I tried to Q and then stopwatch. That was a bad. That was a bad decision on my part. I should have just stopwatch straight up. Would have been better. All right. I have um, Gunblade. I have Sword Shoes. All right. Riven is 3-5. She's actually not too strong, but she did end up getting uh, a few kills off that. But Aurelia is a lot stronger. So Aurelia is going to be able to scale much harder than Riven. Um, in terms of our bot lane, yeah. I, I have to... My job, because I know I can shit on MF completely, I have to just keep focusing her. Uh, mid lane... Uh, I hope mid lane doesn't die. If, if Vagar can't get it in time, I can actually just kill him uh, with the Gunblade. Let's see, it's at 300, 200... I'm so close. He might actually just stay to queue the minions here though. And I can maybe just Gunblade. Can't. Feels bad. Oh, and that creep block is insane. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, I see Botling getting jumped on. Vagar won't be able to respond. Vagar won't be able to respond. He's oom. Okay, Kindred might bait. Oh, okay, okay. We get the MF. We get the MF here. I still have stopwatch. I'm gonna kill him. All right, that's fine. All right, I can actually just I can actually stay here for the MF if she decides to stay. Yep. Damn, I actually fucked up. I tried to W out to see what uh, I could do, but yeah, that didn't work out. It's a fucking fiesta out here, boys. Hey, this, this salty Asian, thank you so much for the sub, dude. Much love, man. Uh, bot lane's still getting fucked, actually. Ooh. Vagar picked up two kills. He's 5 2. He's still gonna be kind of strong, but I don't think he's gonna be strong enough. Um, still gonna be a pretty. Pretty. Uh, it's not. The game's not gonna be free, but we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm gonna. Walk down bot here. I do have Gunblade. Because if MF does decide to show up, I'm pretty sure we can kill her with the Rakan as well. Vagar is going to take the mid farm. There's nothing for me to really do mid. So I'm going to try to make a prediction here and see if I can uh, just jump on the MF when she comes bot. Because bot is so behind, they're going to need this kind of help. You know what I mean? Okay, there's MF. There's MF. Like so. Easy money, easy money. That's what that's the kind of little things that Gunblade allows you to do. Gunblade allows you to like uh Ooh, there's a there's a poppy. Okay. Get fiddle maybe? I'm gonna jump on the dagger here. Oh never mind, okay. Alright, there's a giant wave mid lane. I'm gonna go catch that real quick. I thought we wouldn't be able to get the the kill, but I didn't. I did not see the Jinx rocket, so that was a good rocket on her part. Um, I can, I can kill him. Yep. All right. Vagar is not strong enough. Like he's just not strong compared to me. I'm 11. He's level nine. Even though he catches me off guard, I didn't expect him to do that. To be honest, I didn't know people in this elo like did that. But I mean, I'm strong enough to where like I could just walk up anyway. Vagar has to take my full burst because he can't kill me completely. 
I'm just poking. Q. Nice. Alright. Gonna take this. Could probably Diver Con too. Okay, Poppy's there. Rakan decides to ulti, that's fine with me. I kind of go out on scape anyway. Uh, let's see, do they jump on the dagger? No, they do not. I set up another W. Okay. Transition into the Poppy. Q. And then I have my EW. Nice. MF dies again. That's really good. Now, now Jinx has a lot of... Uh, Jinx has a lot of room to like uh, farm up now. Let's see, what is she at? Th 60, 60. Oh god, fiddle. Yeah, I'll just take this. <laughs> Kendra could have probably just like ordered it, but yeah, it's whatever. Um, let's see how bot's doing. Yeah, this gives a lot. Uh, Jinx a lot of room to just like farm out, so that's fine. But she does have a hurricane, which is pretty bad. Uh, let's see, they're up now. I'm just gonna just gonna clear this wave and then back. And now I have Leandries. They don't really have any MR. Um, if they do start building MR, I'll build the Void Staff after the Leandries, but I'm just gonna get the Leandries because I'm snowballing pretty hard. So let's get the Leandries. And... Probably just get an Amptome. That Amptome, that Amptome can pretty much build into anything, so... <clears throat> Alright. Now we can see what we can do. If there's anybody like left alone, Vagar, uh, Riven, and... MF and potentially even Rakan, who the only reason why like Rakan's a little bit difficult is just because of the fact that like uh Rakan has like escapes. I set up a Q here. Okay, they're just gonna die. I just set up a Q I just set up one Q and that's all I needed. Um they just kinda sat in it. They didn't expect me to jump into the Vagar cage, but you know, I just had the damage to just, just go in and burst them anyway. Alright, I'm gonna keep up the pressure here. Is that Infernal Drag? Yeah, that is Infernal Drag. We can go get that. Um, Riven's gonna defend mid. I can just help Jinx get bot. If there's anybody who decides to go... Okay, that's a... That's a Poppy. Jump over it? Oh, I, I shimpoed behind her, but like, still... Still went off. Suck. But we get the kill anyway. Mid tower is super low. If Vagar does decide to go up there, I'm pretty sure I could dive him because there's no one else really gonna be there to help him. So I'm gonna chill around here. Oh, Vagar's bottom. All right, I'm just gonna push this and try to take the tower. All right, should be a free tower for me. Riven's top. Poppy's dead. Um, MF and Rakan won't be able to stop me because I'm that strong. Vagar's still bottom. Let's let's look at top here. Okay, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna go dive. Hope hopefully they push in. We just need we just need a relay to push in. All right. Just gonna ulti. Didn't need an ulti there, but I just wanted to ulti. Uh, it's like kind of the safer thing. Sometimes you just want to ulti, just so you can guarantee the kills and then pick up some more objectives afterwards. This pretty much leads us into the top tower, top base tower, actually. Okay, I don't think they pick up the kill. Ooh, they do end up picking up the kill. That's good. Now we're just gonna take this in him. Oh. Okay, don't get stunned by the Vagar. You can't kill this Poppy. Alright, now we're gonna transition into the mid tower. Oh, I'm pretty sure if I set up a W, I could still kill him. Uh, Vagar does have his ulti though. So I'm gonna set up a W here, see what I can do. No, I'm just gonna back here. Yeah, they're not gonna, they're not gonna walk in. Let's see, what would my next buy be? We, they have a Vagar, which I'm not really scared of. Um, I can actually just get the Zanyas here. Zanyas is actually always, always a pretty good item to get anyway. Just in case you're stuck in a sticky situation, you know what I mean? So let's go... I think we can focus down the uh, 
Like, if we pressure bottom side, it would be good for us, just because it's easier to get. And they're gonna need to defend their inibs anyway. So if I can pick up a kill in their jungle, then that would be good for us. Uh, I see most of their team, so I'm not too afraid. I see Vagar walking up, though. I don't know if this is worded. Probably not. Or probably is. I'm just gonna jump over. Shove out the lane. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Poppy's just chilling there. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. And I get knocked out again by the Poppy. I wonder if anyone's gonna be with the fiddle or with the Poppy here. Okay, we end up getting the kill. Alright, there's two top. I'm just gonna push out this uh, bot lane. Aurelia does get the double anyway. Should be dead. MF is super squishy. She wasn't able to do anything for like the longest time. Just because like I was able to uh, pressure bot lane to where like every time I, I felt like MF was coming up, I would just kill her. And because I had the gunblade, I focused her hard enough to where like Jinx was actually able to catch up. She's actually like 111 to MF's 120. Uh, one good thing about this game is just the fact that Aurelia got really fed, so it opened it, me up to do a lot of things. Okay, we can kill this Rakan here. Okay, that's fine. We can actually transition ourselves into this top lane in it. I'm gonna sit, place a W. Vagar actually does not decide to walk in it. I place another Q. Okay. He's actually just gonna back off. That's fine. Now we gotta focus the bottom tower. See, Fiddle's already working on it. Um, we didn't even try to get Baron's at all, like any objectives here. Okay, now we're gonna work towards this bot tower. I think we're fine, uh, just because I'm really strong and I'm confident that I can just kill them all. Oh god. Alright, alright, alright. Should be dead. I'm dead. I should have ulted earlier onto the uh, the Rakan, that was my fault. But we end up killing them all anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ultimately, even if you make a play like that, as long as it's for the cause, um, it's okay for me to make plays like those just because both the top inips are down, so that opens us, up, opens us up a lot. Like, they won't be able to really do much even if we end up losing that fight. We could have probably gone into Baron or whatever, but yeah, that's fine. Gonna get the the void here. All right, and it's GG. Nice, nice, nice. So if you saw there, uh, bot lane was losing pretty fucking hard, but I was able to apply my pressure around the bot lane to where like uh, I set the MF behind and I was able to let Jinx farm and do her thing. So that was good. That's kind of how you work with like a feeding bot lane. You have to apply the pressure. Um, I mean, the, the Aurelia did well. Aurelia did super well to the point where, like, I was I, I didn't need to go top lane, but I went to the bot lane, and Aurelia had all the pressure up in the top lane. I was able to just apply apply all my pressure into the bot lane, and they couldn't really do anything.